Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can set up um, a Facebook pizza or data set. Okay, on your website, how you can set it up and integrate it to your website. Okay, so if you are if you are running on Facebook ad, okay, for conversion using your website is advisable to set up a pixel okay what that pixel does is that it tracks your mm -hmm. the activities that is going on on your website okay so the facebook pixel or data set will track every activities that is going on on your website during your ad um during your ad uh, set up okay so um the importance of um, integrating a facebook pixel on your website is that it will help you to get lower cost the um objective you choose while running your facebook ad okay for instance if you choose a sales ad okay if you're setting up a sales a facebook sales ad you want to make sales to your website okay when you integrate um, a facebook uh, pixel or data set to your website it will help you to get a lower cost okay pay sales okay then also if you choose any other objective like website content you add to cart or whatever it will help you to get a lower cost pay action if you integrate a pixel to your website so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a facebook pixel uh, data set that as the name is recently called okay so i'm going to show you how you can set it up how you can create that pixel and how you can integrate it to your website so in this video we are going to use seller as our website okay i'm going to show you how you can integrate that pixel to your seller account okay so that every activity that is going on on your seller be it purchase how many people that view your website your seller website how many people that added product to your cart during your facebook creation while your ad is running okay you this pixel will be able to track it okay so let's go so first of all you go to chrome all right so you go to chrome okay then you click on let me open chrome all right so if you are familiar with facebook ad creation i know you understood you understood how getting here okay but if you are not familiar with it Okay, I'll make a video. I've made a video on Facebook creation. Okay, how you can create a Facebook ad from scratch. Okay, using Chrome, using Chrome browser. Okay, so this Chrome browser now is this interface is the same thing with when you are using your laptop. Okay, so you can search for the video or I will link it up here later. Okay, so you can watch how we get in here, All right? So, but if you're familiar with it, so right, it's still okay. So let's go. So when you get into this place, this ad manager, this place is called ad manager. Okay. When you get in here, all right. Let me refresh the page. so when you get in here okay this ad manager okay and chrome is loading okay
Alright, it's done with it. Uh, so when you get in here, you click on this trail line by the left. Can you see that trail line by the left? Click on that trail line. So we want to create a Facebook pixel or data set. Okay. Before we now go and integrate it to our seller. So you click on Invent Manager. Can you see that? Then choose Open with Chrome. Right, so after it has opened, this is the event manager. I have pixel already, so that's why it's that's why it's looking like this. If you don't if you don't have your own interface will be different. So when you click on event manager, okay, you click on this green plus button by the left to create a pixel. Okay. So when you click on it. When you click on this uh, game plus button, you click on web. Okay. You click on web. And click on connect. Alright. When you click on connect. Alright. You name your picture. Let's say uh, I want to name it. Uh, Example pixel example pixel two three okay example pixel three okay then you click on create So now the pixel is already created. You've created a Facebook pixel or data set. Okay, just remove this. I don't know that and just remove this. Click on this remove button and remove it. Alright, so as you can see, when you look up here by the left here, you see that pixel that you've we've created. Example pixel three. Can you see that? So now we want to Go and integrate it to our seller website. Okay, so you want to integrate it to seller so that it will start tracking every activities that is going on on seller. Okay, while we set up our Facebook. Account. So you click on this example pizza three here. Okay, just click on it. Then you copy the code. You can click on the code. You can click on the code and copy. Okay, then minimize. Then you go to your seller. You log into your seller. <coughs> you log into your seller account. When you log into your seller account, you click on these three lines. Okay, then scroll down to integration. Can you see integration? Click on the integration and select Facebook Pixel. Okay. So when you select Facebook Pixel, you come to this Pixel ID. I already have a Pixel integrated on this uh, account, so to track this any activities here. So what you do is just click on this box, this Pixel ID box. Then click on it and paste the code we copied. Okay. When you paste it, you now click on Update Pixel. Okay. So you see success pixel settings updated so after that you've integrated the pixel to your seller account okay so now you want to check if you set it up correctly 
what you have to do is to test it to test if you set it up correct so just click on this three lines again okay scroll up look at this page that the, the word starter store link just one click on that store link and click there and click on copy link address okay so we've copied the store link so minimize again and go to event manager again just click anywhere okay when you go to event manager you click on this test event okay you click on this test event so the first option says confirm your server event not that one okay the second option says confirm your your website events are set up correctly so you select the second option okay then paste your store stellar store link okay when you paste your seller store link you click on open website okay so now the website is open okay you can this thing we did now is called website content view okay you can add the product to cart by clicking on this uh, this uh, element here this element that has red something you can it you can click on it to add product to cart okay so after doing that or you can leave it like this so after doing that you go back to the event manager okay let me open it again so after doing that you go back to the event manager to check if the pixel tracked these activities this activity that we took now okay so what you will do is that you click on this uh, this element after plus uh, sign after this plus element just click on the next one yes overview all right then you click on data source so we want to check if it tracks these activities that we, that we took now so you will see the activity here all right you see the activity you see it here all right okay you can see one active integration website is seller.co okay so that's how you check if your pixel is well integrated okay Alright, so thank you for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel, alright, for more wonderful videos like this. Okay, so see you in my next video. Bye.